Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amelia and today I'm going to be making a key lime pie. Our main ingredients to this recipe is going to be sweetened condensed milk and some key limes. So let's get started. I'm using about one and a half of these packages of the Biscoff cookies. You can also use um, graham crackers. And I added half a cup of melted butter. So what you want to do as much as you can, you want to pat down your crust and you want to smooth out the sides as well. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to kind of make a wall. And we're going to put this in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. So it's going to get a little bit um, stiffer once it comes out in the oven. I'm gonna start off with the eight egg yolks. So I'm just gonna get it with my hand and remove the egg white. I just want the yolk as much as you can. Okay, the egg whites, you can use it for something else. We're not gonna use this. I'm using two cans of sweetened condensed milk from La Lechera. We're gonna use a cup and a fourth of key lime juice. So this is a regular lime and this is a key lime. So see the difference, the key lime is smaller. The key lime is actually more aromatic, so it has more flavor. So these you wanna use for the key lime pie, but if you can't find the key limes, then go ahead and just use the regular limes. They're also known as Mexican limes. Um, so the key lime, when it's super green, it is less juicy. Once your limes start turning yellowish, greenish, these are more juicy. So this is better when you want to um, take the juice out. And we want some zest as well. So do the, do the zesting first before you start squeezing the juice out. So once you have your cup and one fourth of juice, we're just going to add it in here. Add it in there. I zested about three little key limes. I used one of these. So you wanna zest at least a good three little limes. And now I'm just gonna add the zest in here as well. Um, I'm using a dash of this popcorn salt. Just a little dash so it's not too sweet. And I'm gonna use a little bit of grain gel, the food coloring, just a little bit. Just so I get a little bit of green. You don't have to, that's, that's optional. And I'm just gonna mix everything together. My key lime pie is done. I had it in the oven for 30 minutes. This is a 10 inch pie dish. So it took me a little bit longer. If yours is a nine inch, it'll probably take you maybe 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna let this cool down and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight and we'll finish it tomorrow. For the topping, I'm gonna use half of the pint of this heavy whipping cream. I'm just gonna pour it in here. Um, I have about three fourths of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once your whipped cream is whipped and it's it's pretty thick, then this is good enough. And today, now I'm just gonna decorate it. And this is how much I made with the heavy whipping cream. This is all I need, I don't need anymore. So I only used half of that pint. And now I'm just gonna decorate. And I am just going to go around. You just get some shredded coconut and you just toast it in a nonstick pan. This is a really good summer pie for you to try. You'll love it. It's very citrusy, aromatic. You can taste all the flavors blending in well together with the sweetened condensed milk and the lime juice. It's delicious. You got a little bit of the heavy whipping cream and it makes it nice and airy with a little bit of toasted coconut flakes. Mmm. It's really good. Mmm. -mm. Mm. 
it's good. You'll love it. Thank you for watching my channel. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.